What's up guys, it's me, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today as you can see, I'm in like a weird red skin in a random place, and um, this, this skin is actually my updated Halloween skin, um, I just wanted to show you guys, even though Halloween is like, was already like, four days ago, five days ago, I don't remember, and today, I'm gonna be showing you all of the realm stones for like, the old, like a little bit older version of Nevermind, that's not on the eight, Advent of Ascension wiki, cause that's for like, updated fully, and that's a big problem, That this was a big problem for me in my Mega Mod Pack series because I couldn't find any of the realm stones because it was an older version. But now I figured out a way to do it. Ignore like the battle gear things and like maybe some Lycanites mods because I'm actually playing with my Mega Mod Pack so there is other mods on this so just, just ignore those. The first thing is the Haven Realm Stone and um, these things called the Golby. And they spot in extreme hills biomes, and um, they drop the Haven Realm Stone. It's a rare, very rare chance, so be careful with that. There's also things called like magic keep, magic, magic, magic things. These things called like magic, magic, magic. Never mind. Um, these guys also drop Haven Realm Stones and spawn in the same place. The next thing up is Bush Baby. They spawn in jungles. Oh, and also I'm not going to be spoiling anything from any different dimensions. So cool. Next thing is Bush Babies. They spawn in jungles and um. They drop the Percacia, Percacia, whatever realm stone. Next up is Death Hunter, and these guys spawn during the um, Blood Hunt event, I mean Blood Knight event. And during this event, it says something like, in chat, that's like, the hunt for blood has begun. And then after these guys will spawn, it happens rarely every night, and when you when you kill these guys, they have like, a pretty sure 100% drop rate of the Immortalist. Um, Immortalist realm stone, which is also pretty cool. Next thing is clown, clowns. These guys just spawn in caves. They're just normal, um, cave mobs. They're, I don't know. They're kind of rare, and they drop the clevy realm stones or clevy realm stones and deep lens, which is pretty cool. Next up is the anema, anemia, anemia, whatever. These also spawn in the same event as the death hunters, and they drop this realm stones. Next up, wait, no, wait, what? Why is this here? Uh, moving on. Um, so the next realm stone is is uh, from the Amphibite, Amphibity. Well, these guys aren't actually the source of it, but if these guys spawn inside of oceans, these uh, weird ocean things, and inside of the weird ocean things, there's four spawners for these guys, made of like coral blocks or whatever. And if you kill them, there's a rare chance of spawning Coralis, the boss, which I actually fought in a previous video, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't know that until recently. And um, when you kill that guy, that boss that has a rare chance of spawning from these guys, you get the Laborian Realmstone. Next up is Trickster, spawn also spawns in caves just like the Clown, and he only drops Deep Lens. Next up is Shade, also spawns in caves like the Trickster and Clown, drops Deep Lens. Next up is Bug Eye, they're just rare spawns. Um, which is weird, they just spawn around and they drop Mysterium. Next up is Terrestrial. It spawns in the Night Watcher event. It's not actually called the Night Watcher event. I just called the Night Watcher event because that is when um, Night Watchers spawn. So if you see Night Watchers out at night, you know that this guy is a super rare chance of spawning. And when you kill him, like right above him, like a huge portal spawns and is really cool. Next up is um, Iron Mine. And. For Iron Mine, um, w once you level up your mining skill high enough, let me get it, your foraging skill or whatever, high enough, it'll, um, you have a small chance of getting the Iron Mine out of mining, like mining ores. Yeah, so that's how you get this one. And if I fly up here, if you want to get Gardensia, Gardens, if you get, like, the good Gardensia, they, they drop from any mob in Precacia, Pre which is, again, from, um, the jungle, the bush baby, I mean. Next up, there's also another way to get Laborian, and it's from mobs in Rodentia. Next up is Barthos, and they get from mobs in the land of Runnendor, which we'll talk about this um, later, because it's actually pretty important. And Mysterium is a super important one, and we'll get back to that later. Next up is Vox Ponds, and to get this, you get it from mobs in Gardensia. Mobs in Gardensia actually drop a whole bunch of things. Next up is Liletta. Liletta? These drop from mobs in Haven. Next is Dustopia, which drops from mobs in Gekin, which we'll talk about later. Next is Ancient Cavern, which, uh, which drops from mobs in Haven, Gardensia, Abyss, and Deeplands. Next is Crestivia, which drops from mobs in Deeplands, which is pretty cool. 
And the reason why Mysterium is super, super important is because inside of them, there are these rare things, like Portal Guys and Portal Master Spot. If you, if you buy a ticket off them, you can actually get portals to Grecken and Run Indoor. So that's why you should probably make another portal to that stuff, which is also pretty cool. These are all the Realm Stones, and if you want to know how to craft the portal, what you have to do is first craft an Ancient Teleporter. Which is made by a amethyst. You can just find in caves and a diamond. And what you do with this is you go to wherever you want and you just right click, and it spawns a portal, which is also pretty cool. And if you want to know how to do it, let me just get a random one, um, like Haven. So you come over here and you click on this block right here. Like it doesn't work anywhere else. Nope. 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 If you click on this block right here, like right there, so that's how you do it. You just go and you place it in there, and then it, the portal will spawn. And that is how you get all the realm stones. Um, I know, guys, if I type in realm stone, I couldn't, there, I, there's no way to get um, the strange or candy land realm stone, because I've been searching for, for so long, and I still haven't found a way for those. So, sorry that we couldn't get those two realm stones inside of this video, but we have everything else, which is good enough. And for some reason, desert shells. If you want to, go, you want to know how to get desert shells, drop some sand golems. But, um, that's going to be the end of this video for today, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!